Hello everybody and welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I want to show you some tutorial that a friend, some guy had requested for me saying that he wanted to know split level plans in terms of building a roof. Building a roof on split level plans. So what I have here is a basic generic model. Um, and I use for the example, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a roof for, to cover this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, um, we have our walls, right? So we're going to window, layers. Make sure if you don't have a roof layer, you know you add one. And we do have a roof layer, so we will select that for now. I have other videos that show you how to build different layers, so um, I won't do that here. We already have it here. Roof layer. Make a rectangle outside the model. Sorry about that. Computer zooms. And select all connected. Then make a group or component. Reason being because sometimes these kinds of roofs are very tricky. And this one won't be tricky, but there's some that are tricky. So we are going to um, just place it anywhere on a corner. Then we're going to right click, edit our group or component. And then we will go about and rectangleize the whole joint. Then erase the original one. So then you can just keep coming back. So what I actually do, um, what, I, what actually happens is you can act, I make this like a normal roof, which I'll actually tell you what I'm doing, and you'll just watch. Sorry about that, computer is slow. And then from there, like like any roof, you will um, you will choose your slope. I'll do a nine by twelve. Term in the middle. So essentially this is just another one of those roof, another roof thing, but I'll be sure we're all on the same page. One thing I'd like to note about my, some of the comments, um, I do get in comments where people don't necessarily like my um, methods. How I do, I will say that the methods that I use do get the job done. They just, um, but I won't ever guarantee that these will always be your most comfortable methods because there will be methods that you use that are much that you like a lot better. Um, mine is just one out of many ways to do that. So then, you know, just something to point out there. Yeah, we all do some. We all do things differently. So, um, if your way you find be more efficient or whatever, um, go for it. Yeah, I'm just one out of a big number.
Doesn't make me feel too special now, does it? But, um, that's just how life is. Okay. Almost done here. And afterwards, I'll go through a few examples with you. So basically, what I did here was just, you know, these these are just regular roofs. Um, but I'm just interconnecting a kind of a split level-ish plan. So what you'll do is, um, what I did here was I just basically took two basic roofs and connected them. Just elongate the lower one or wherever you need to. Erase what you don't want. And it really, that's what you have is a, is your roof. And then, you know, you'll just pick your set favorite roof tiles or whatever. And then cleanup is the same. So you'll go to these, um, you'll go back to edit group and you'll hide whatever lines you want to hide. Like where in the gable meets the regular wall. So that's what you'll do. And then just hide. And then, like any regular roof, you'll just, you know, hide the roof layer, and there you can still see inside. Now, um, ceiling finishes, um, whenever, you, whenever you do things like this, though, just something to point out, you will, it will take a little bit of imagination, but um, you can do it. That's part of the reason why I had you make this into a group or component, so then you can, so you have a lot of room to play around in, and if you mess up, then you can just erase it and do it over again without problem. But yeah. But that's how you do a roof on a um, split level, or even if it's just two feet, or four feet, or even ten feet. It's all the same. So I'm going to go through a few examples of what you can do. So this is just a basic little step. Shows you all sorts of different roof configurations and patterns. If you find one that you like, you know, you can pause the video and take a screenshot because I'll look at each one very carefully. Just shows that there are many configurations. I didn't clean these up just because I wanted to show you what these actually came from. And um there are so many of them, I could only do a few in time to do this video. I mean, it would take days to do, to do many and still wouldn't get all of them. So basically, you know, I mean, it's basic roofs. This is all this is. Basic roofs put together um, and elongated and such. This one, you know, same eaves, just met at the top wherever it meets some of them and here you can get a little more fancy and really it's not all that fancy you basically two blocks and two basic roofs but it gives you sort of a fancy look to it but I mean if basically I mean if the lot was like this you know say for example your lot looked something like this you know and you had to build something like this Here's the same thing, only elongated a little bit. Many, many, many different configurations. Here's another step down. And then step up. You roof it how you choose and um like how I did like how any roof would I do, I just do the all the eaves first. And then I'll just I'd use the slopes. Then I'll just meet up where it meets up. That's usually how I do it. You And for these, you know, make it all hipped or make gable, gable. Put a dormer here. It's really up to you.
Here's just another idea using that same configuration. Same basic blocks. Gives you a lot of ideas. And again, I just I just start with the eaves and then I use the slope and meet at the middle. Now, if you're wondering about like things like the hipped roofs, um, there is my um, complex roof tutorial video that you can look at. That shows you how to. Um, that shows me how to go through and make all of these um, slopes the same. Because obviously, if you if you have all sorts of different jagged um, slopes, the roof looks jagged and a mess. You don't want that. It will totally ruin the look of the building. And um, just wouldn't look very nice. So I wanted to I aim to point that out to you. So even when working with this, you always want to make sure your roof is consistent in the slope. However, sometimes there might be a dormer or a gable in front, you know, that might be a little steeper or a little shallower. That's okay, but I mean, things like this, though. I mean, you see how perfectly they line up. And then just this other example, as I showed already, I think. And then here's just more creativity. More things you can do. I mean, it really encourages creativity. Having varying eave heights. And yet another. And here are some reasons why there would be varying eave heights. One is, I mean, you'd see, like for found, for um, split level plans, you'll see um, reason being that your house would be on an incline, and your floors need to match up with those inclines. Sometimes that happens. Colorado, Los Alamos, sometimes in New Mexico. A lot of mountainous regions have this. Sometimes you'd see it in Kansas. Depends on the location. But, um, see houses on a slope. You see how the roof doesn't match. This um, eave doesn't match the height there. And I just meet at wherever the meet is using the same slope. Just meet at whatever, wherever. And also, I mean, it encourages an adjustment. Here's a fine example of a house like that. The reason why this one's a picture is because I lost the file long ago. But you can actually see the house is on a slope. You can see my cursor, can't you? And um, you see how the rooms are just basically stacked wherever. So the windows are like up, down, up, down, up, down. This one particularly is in New Jersey. Hilly in northern, in um, western New Jersey. And this is a good example of that. House doesn't exist. Um, it's just a concept on a con on an actual lot. Now what we get here is another split level plan. Only this time on flat land, but still split level. So the roof concept is exactly the same. You see that there will be some basement component, kind of. And is what we see here. And this is like the example I did. See rooms on the bottom. But you see how the floors jump. And we can take the roof off and have a look inside. Now usually whenever I do um, split levels, I usually like, you see here, like I do make a different color here. Just to show you that that's still part of the wall. But the roof layer is usually just one layer. I mean, it's like a regular house, but I mean, it's a floor jump. but it's on flat land now what you see here is um, 
you'll see um, in some cases where the roof eave is actually seems arbitrarily raised sometimes arbitrarily sometimes for a purpose where the house the rooms are all on one on the same planes but the roof really isn't this kind of this shows kind of an example of that um, you see how most of the eaves are this eave is a little bit different it's a jump eave and as you can see it actually cuts through half of the room there but as you can see this eave though is consistent with these eaves down here so it comes up and then it just meets up at the wall and another example is back here See, it's like it's almost like a little cake, you know. You cut out a piece of cake, and in construction purposes, it actually is kind of easier to do it this way, and you know, doesn't probably doesn't cost as much. It's just because, I mean, if you think about it, um, this is just one roof plane instead of three roof planes. I mean, you, here you would have to go up like this. something like that and then go in and dent a little bit and then go through like that and then it'll give the roof kind of a jagged look this gives it more of a smooth sailing just smooth kind of thing helps the flow of the building too so it does have its purposes and you know it generally looks nice kinda gives it a pleasant you know it's like a step, 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 you know, gives the building kind of a rhythmic, a rhythm. And it's structurally purposeful, so yeah. And then here, it's just where it's simply a raised ceiling. And I actually, this house I did in the series um, has, a, has that. Where this part of the roof is raised a little bit. And you know the regular parts are not raised. It's what you see here. Um, we will look at that in the section plane. Yep. So you can see right there that is regular ceiling and it just jumps. And then this is where regular ceiling would have started. But yet it jumps. So there's so many things you can do with this. I haven't barely touched the surface on all the things that you can possibly do with the, with jumps. So that's it for today. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. If it was helpful, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Give me feedback and also give me suggestions on what, what you guys need me to talk about. And I will do that for you. And it's also good for me. It gives me more materials to talk about. So, like I said, rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Bye-bye and see you later.